Now that we've reviewed the general process of creating items and assigning them to a menu, let's take a more specific example and add a T-bone steak to our menu. In order to do this, we'll need to set up some side modifier options because we want our customer to have a choice of baked potato or french fries, as well as some cooking instructions, and uh, we'll also add the option for some priced modifiers as well. To begin with, let's make sure that we have all of the appropriate products defined. First we'll select define products and we'll add a product to create a product ID for our steak dinner. When defining your product IDs, it's a good idea to make sure that you're using something that's reasonable and consistent. Uh, in this particular example, we've used a description of the product as the product ID. Some customers will like to use a, a combination of the menu that the item will be assigned to as well as a description of the product for the product ID. But in this case, let's call it a steak T-bone and the description will be T-bone steak. That's what will appear on the customer's receipt. For our product type, we'll select food as well as, or for our department, as well as for our product type, we'll simply select food. The next required information, we do want the product to be taxable. We will not use a unique tax percent, and we will not be using a bar tax. Uh, the cost of the product, uh, as a default, we'll simply put in $5, uh, and let's charge $15 for this item without any special or happy hour pricing. And then we'll save that product. Next, let's add an item to a potato list called French fries. We would be able to, once we've created this item, we would be able to sell it as a modifier on any item, or we can place this item directly on the menu if we want to sell it directly. Again, we can use the pick list to select our our department and product type. If you type in a value that's not defined, the software will warn you that you've entered an invalid product type. As a default price, we might say we would sell this for $2 off of our menu, although as a modifier to the steak dinner, it will not have any price. We can save that product and then add another. we'll add a baked potato. And again, uh, pricing information that may not be used as a modifier, uh, but would be used if it was assigned directly to the menu. And finally, let's add the option to add sautéed mushrooms to our steak. This might be something that we charge a dollar extra for. And as we look at the modifier list, we'll see that for certain modifiers, if we want to charge extra, we can, while others can have a zero effect on the price. With the modifiers and the dinner itself defined, let's create a side list or manage our side lists. We already have a potato side list, so let's add our baked potato. We're going to zero the price because we don't want to add any price to the steak dinner or to the dinner that we're assigning this as an option for, and we won't use a sublist in this case. Let's also assign our french fries, and again zero the price. Let's also create an option for items that are specific for a steak dinner. So let's take a side list that we're not using it and call it steak add-ons. Let's define that list. We'll put our sautéed mushrooms. We'll leave the price of a dollar and we'll again not have the optional side list. One other thing that we'll want to do is set up a set of cooking instructions that can be assigned and used for that steak dinner. That can be done using the Define Cooking Instructions option. 
Now we're ready to assign that item to our menu. We select Define Menu Items, Add. We use the pick list to select our steak dinner. Pressing Enter will take us to the Select Menu option where we can again use the pick list to select our dinner, our menu. We'll put this on our dinner menu. And then we're, we have to specify the text that will print or that will appear on the button as well as printing on the cook's ticket. So we'll call it a T-bone steak. Uh, we don't want to use the vegetable list, but we do want to use the potato list that we've defined as well as the steak add-ons list as well as here the cooking instructions. Finally, we want this item because it's a standard food item to print on our first kitchen printer. At this point we're done and we can save the item. Now if we go to the restaurant sales screen and we create a table, we can go to our dinner menu we'll see that we have the option for a T-bone steak and here are the lists that are enabled for that. The potato list uh, we can specify a baked potato. The cooking instructions we can specify that we want it medium and on the add-ons if we want the mushrooms we can add the mushrooms. At this point the item is complete and we're ready to send it to the cook.